Hey, what's happening, folks? Textboy not one here, and I'm back on some NCAA and bring you guys a gameplay you guys have been waiting for. I got a bunch of messages asking me to post some gameplay. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and oblige the viewers of this game. I have not abandoned it. I just have not been playing it because Madden's been consuming my life. And so Grand Theft Auto just came out, too. So I got, like, all this stuff I got to play and not that much time. But we're going to go ahead and play a couple games this week for you guys. You guys see my lineup's pretty much the same so far. I got a few changes you guys will see later on. Still same offensive line. I need to go ahead and upgrade probably center. Maybe get Frederick or maybe get a better right guard. I think I got one of my reserves. Blackman, Samarja, Michael Crabtree. Also got Tim Brown on the bench coming off to maybe some support. We're going to use this Jake Cutler number three out of 100. Look, the stats aren't that great, but I like Jake Cutler, especially after the Bears just got their win tonight. So hopefully his good luck rubs off on this game right here. Our defensive front's pretty much the same. We got Dominican too there. I still need to do his Heisman hopeful collection so I can go ahead and get the 97, I believe, and wreck havoc on these defensive fronts, or offensive lines, I should say. Peppers, you got Justin Smith. We still got Briggs, the middle linebacker. He's a beast there. Plus, he has some good catching stats. Claiborne playing right outside linebacker. And I'm running duplicate. Earl Thomas is a big shout-out to one of my subscribers. He hooked me up with both these cards, so I really appreciate it. I want to, I'm not going to give you guys this gamer tag because I give you guys this gamer tag. You guys are going to message him constantly asking him, hey, man, give me get some free cards. Let me get all this stuff. Like, no, I'm not going to give you guys that just because I know you guys will be annoying about it, but I'm going to go ahead and give you his YouTube name. His name is... His name is the guy up the street. I really appreciate it. Earl Thomas went to Texas, big Texas fan. So thank you for feeling generous enough, generous enough to donate me both these cards. And hopefully these cards play well enough to stay on my team. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video here. Come back when the game play is playing. So you guys are gonna sit through no loading screen. So I'll be right back. And let's go ahead and get this victory. Longhorns up. All right, finally we got into a game. I won't tell you guys how long that was, but let's just see. I went through probably 10 to 15 opponents that kept saying no. So let's go ahead and try to get this victory against this guy. Going to go ahead and kick. Maybe his team's good. Maybe his team's bad. Maybe he'll quit. Maybe he won't. But we will only find out if we can win this game. And I have faith in my team right now. I haven't played this game in a while. I'm used to Madden, so let's see if I can get back into the swing of things over here and keep bringing you guys a, like at least like five of these, or not five of these, but like maybe a couple of gameplays each and every week, maybe a couple of them. I'm trying to think what would y'all be a good ratio for Madden games in this game. I'm not used to the playbook being so limited. What are we going? What we got here? All right, what's he gonna run? I do like how they let you know what the opponent is running in a big presentation that Madden doesn't have. I wish Madden had it like that. But they can't be associated with this game because they don't really be, are used by the same developer. Actually, it might be. I may be wrong about that. Number five is his quarterback. Is that, who is that? Number five is his quarterback. That's my zone right there. That's my fault. Played that pair. Oh, that Garrison Hurst? That's a running back playing wide receiver. All right. We'll take that. You kind of, <laughs> we'll take, who's number five though? Like, I'm trying to figure out who number five is. A lot of new cards that dropped that I've not seen. Finally, I've seen a Ricky Williams Heisman hopeful. So I'm definitely going to scoop one of those up once I get my coins back. Only because he's from Texas. The same reason why I had to get Vince Young. But I got Cam Doom because he's my favorite quarterback. Earl, oh, wow. Adrian Peterson. <laughs> Earl Thomas bounced right off of him, which I was worried about. I thought. Earl Thomas would have a good hit power, but I looked over in Madden at the time when I was before I got the Earl Thomas. I was like, oh, he only has like a 70, I think it was an 85 hit power, which is pretty decent. But for the Seattle safeties, I thought he might have like a 90 because they're just known for the Legion of Boom backfield. But I believe in Insta Blaze, they have a low hit power. But I forgot broken tackle in this game are pretty prevalent, so it's not going to be a big deal if he has 100 hit power or not. Oh, my God. Is he going? Who's who's that? Pat White. Oh my. Okay. All right. So I know he just wants to pound a rock, and then if he can't find nobody open, run it with his quarterback. So I'm not putting the spy up. My front actually played well enough there. If he would have got the ball to X, he probably would have got a first down. But fortunately, he didn't get a chance to throw it. So he's got to watch out for AP. Come on, Earl Town. Need you to force a fumble. AP ain't got them hands. Oh, Peppers, Peppers, oh, all right, Adrian Peterson's just a beast. I was so tempted as to keep him and do the collection and get the 98 overall, but I'm like, ah, I can't, I got to use Ricky. I can't use Adrian. Like, Adrian is just, I don't know, he's just God mode in all all type, all video games. He's just a beast, and he cannot be touched. We're going to go ahead and blitz here. Let's go ahead and just blitz two linebackers and Morris Claiborne for some reason because I forgot I still have him out here outside linebacker, but he's pretty good. He has the awareness of a cornerback and the... the the pass coverage of a cornerback, but also can hit like a linebacker. 
Yeah, oh, I love the momentum there. See, in real life, or in Madden, <laughs> that guy would have gotten pushed back. He wouldn't have fell forward for six yards because my my guy was there. He would have got pelled up and thrown back. Maybe he would have got a he would have broke the tackle after he uh, would have got caught, held up, but it wouldn't have been seventy yard fall. All right, probably shouldn't be blitzing here. Probably shouldn't be blitzing here, but we're going to blitz. Ugh. All right, at least we got the Adrian Peter. He got one yard still. All right, so. All right, so is he going to. I don't think it's not conservative. I don't think it's not conservative. It very well could be, but I don't think it is. Let's come out here in base defense. He's, he's coming out here with two tight end sets, it looks like, and one or two receivers. So I don't really got to worry about that. Yeah, he's, I, can, I can run base now. I like this guy. I can run base defense. I like to be able to run base. Throw it to A. Throw it to A. Ah, check down. Check down. I'm cool with that. Throw it to you. I, I, he did not want to get picked. That was a smart choice by him. Funny thing about that is that if I would have went right to the tight end, A would have been so open. So I'm glad I actually was using that. Recognize the play. Recognize what was going on. Had the awareness and had the... the I don't know what I'm talking about now. <laughs> All right, we're going to watch the screen here. we got to watch the screen. The, oh, who dropped the Antoine Winfield? You have like an 80 catch, dude. You can't drop those passes. Oh, you can't drop those passes, man. Because now it's fourth and five, and now I got to worry about Pat White getting out of the pocket. Oh, he's taking a field goal. Okay. We're going we gonna to play man, though. All right, cool. Because usually on those plays like that, they get out of the pocket, you're just screwed. They're going to get right, they're going to go forward on fourth down, and then run with the quarterback, and they're going to be cool. Cam Newton's his backup. Pretty sure it's probably the 94, not the 98, unless he's an idiot. But he's only going like 50k now, so it'd be pretty cheap to get. So, so Jake Cullen's going to take the offense for the first time. I need to change my team up though. If you guys want to see me use different players, let me know in the comment section below. I will, I, I will oblige you. If you guys want me to use a specific player that I don't have, go ahead and throw him my way. I wouldn't mind trying to place with that Ricky Williams or play with the Honey Badger or anybody like that. If you guys want to see that, instead of seeing me playing the same players, but. You know how it goes. Go ahead and do lineups that you guys would like to see in the near future. Like, if you guys want to see me play with, like, I don't know, a six uh, all-gold lineup or an all super line, I'll go ahead and do that for you guys. Keep these games interesting. I'm not the best player. I have 156 wins, and but I also have a litany of, like, 30-plus losses because you know how this game goes. So if you guys want to see certain players, I'm running the wrong formation. I usually don't run this, this early, but whatever. Go ahead and call the screen real quick. Go ahead and call the screen. Ricky, put your head down. All right, Ricky. But yeah, I usually don't. I usually have a certain set amount of plays I run, but I forgot. I deviated right to Madden. Oh, I need to get back into the swing of things. All right, let's go back into our split. Give the ball up to Ricky. Let him, or was it Ricky? Yeah, give the ball to Ricky. McFadden will be our screen outlet there. We're on another screen in the second. Hopefully, I get a first here. What does he have out there, though, in the end? 48. It's not Peppers, is it? I don't think it is. I like, I wish I could have their names so you can see who exactly he has. Or they had like a scouting report, like you can see, like, pay like maybe 50 coins just to see who he has out there as notable. So you, can, you don't gotta go check their depth chart. Three man rush, three man front, which usually gets pressure in this game, which is funny to me. Never understood that. I never understood how three man can get pressure. It's like Stark, so he has out of Maryland, that Wesley Woodyard. That's a good tackler right there. I think he's 97 tackling. That's pretty good. Wonder who he has at cornerback, so I might be able to test him deep. I got some good receivers. I had that Michael Crabtree, and I sold him. I was going to go ahead and play with him, but 200K was just calling me, and I did not want to get kind of uh, screwed because I know his price was at like 90K recently, so I was like, I didn't really want to basically play with him for a couple games. All of a sudden, his price drops back down to like 75 to 100K. I'm, like, I'm going to go ahead and sell him right now because that would be the wise thing to do. All right, we're going to go ahead and run the ball with McFadden, get him on this buck sweep. Let's see if we can get the edge on the defense. Hopefully we get some good blockers out here. I do have that one. I think I have David Castro on my reserve, so I might have to try him out. I know he's a good right guard. He's probably the best one you can get outside one of these limited cards. Oh, stutter step. No stutter step. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm so used to matting controllers right now. This is going to be this is different. All right, that's funny, though. Well, I'm trying to think, what was the move I could have done? I could have probably done a bag juke, maybe. I don't know. Use the total control stick. I kind of wish the games would be kind of similar with each other. Like, oh, we have the same features. But they're like, nah, we don't want to be associated. I don't blame them. College and NFL are completely different. He always breaks that first tackle, though. 
if that elite one was better, or not the elite, but if that uh, limited edition one, I think that's what it was, is better than this one, I would pick that up, but it's not, I don't think. All right, we have Jake Cutler. We got to go down the field. We can't be keep throwing these, running the ball. We can't keep throwing these check down routes. We got to go down the field. We're in field goal range, so as long as I don't make a mistake, but I haven't really used Cutler, so I don't know how he's throwing. He he will throw the ball, but let's see. Let's see. Maybe Vernon Davis will be open. Maybe Crabtree. He's using. He's playing this prevent defense. Like He wants me to run the ball. Like He wants me to run the ball, and I got to run the ball. I swear, I wish I could have just ran up the middle, but Ricky had to do that little move to where he had to get to the outside. All right. All right. What formation we got out here? What formation? Let's run this. Let's run this. What we got here? Let's run this right here. I'm kind of mad, though. Ricky, if you just if that was just like a regular draw up the middle, it would have probably got more than two yards, but since he took that wide angle, the guy had was in position to stop me. Jake Cullen with the accuracy, Tim Brown in the end zone, touchdown. You got a Vanderbilt alumni throwing to a Notre Dame alumni. It's pretty cool. I don't know why it's pretty cool. SEC to whatever the hell conference Notre Dame's in. But Jake Cullen, 3 for 3, 37 yards, touchdown. Beat his man. Sebastian Janikowski with the extra point. I don't even know why I'm still using him. I pretty much can just use my punter and sell Janikowski. He's probably going for a lot. He's the one of the only kickers that can kick out of the end zone. Every pretty much every single time, and you won't get beaten that element of the game. All right, I hope we can see a nice kicker in Madden that can kick out of the end zone because the only one that can come close is either Young Jeezy, which is Greg Zerline, or Matt Prater. Yeah, and they have 97, they can pretty come, they can come close, but they're not that consistent at it. Like, you gotta like angle it to where you can get it out, but I need somebody that can eliminate it because kickoffs and return to that game are ridiculous. Whoo, they are ridiculous. Randy Moss, Johnson, I wonder if that's the. Terrible Randy Moss. Thank oh, Gason! You got to catch the interception. Ah, two dropped interceptions so far. and I, I, I mean, You know when you mess one, all the momentum swings, you drop interception, momentum's gone now. So next play is probably going to be the same thing, which is probably going to result in a first down. I'm hoping that that doesn't happen that way. Let's see if we can stop it. He got all your body covered. He has a receiver playing. He has a running back playing receiver. I guess he doesn't have enough coins or, or uh, better personnel out there you can use. Oh my mother! Oh Ty Law, these I'm still <laughs> I'm so used to everybody catching interceptions. These guys' hands are made of bricks. They are made of bricks. It's ridiculous. I need to make a song. Boy, you wait, boy. Wow, NCAA. Why these players got bricks? I don't know. I actually had a song in my head and I lost it. <laughs> bricks with no hands. Bricks. Bricks. Let's get an interception, Bricks. Oh, I thought he was going to throw the X. Good deflection. Oh, actually, I don't think Top Hog got deflection there. <laughs> Let's see if he punts it. Let's see if he punts it. Let's see if he plays smart. Let's see if he plays smart. He kicked the field goal, which is a smart thing to do. I didn't expect him to do that at all, but let's see if he's going to decide to change his whole game plan up and deviate, and he's going to go for it. Smart dude, because he knows in this game every possession counts. He pretty much cannot. Well, he's not smart. He's dumb because if he doesn't get the first down, I'm going to go ahead and probably score again, but he knows every possession matters. He has to get a score on every possession to have a chance in winning. Look at that throw, though. I throw it shouldn't even be possible. You shouldn't even move the ball that far where you're rolling out, and then you just, like, launch it that way. That shouldn't even happen. All right, you know what? We're going to run some read option with Jay Culler. I'm no, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. It works in Madden, though. If you got a slightly fast quarterback, you can pretty much abuse this the entire game. Because it's just some some reason. Sometimes people just don't want to read the quarterback that's not fast. I don't know. Aaron Rodgers be killing it with that read option. Let's see if he can get Ricky Williams or Jay Cutler. Jay Cutler, don't fumble. All right. <laughs> He's 78 speed, slow self. This is before Jay Cutler was a diabetic, I believe, which is kind of, I don't even know why I'm bringing that up. <laughs> why am I bringing that up? I like Jay Cutler. I used to live in Colorado for about seven, eight years. I'm trying to think. I was in Colorado since I was in sixth grade. Was it sixth grade? Sixth grade, sixth, seventh grade, fifth grade, whatever. I was a big fan of Jay Cutler when I watched play for the Broncos. I just liked him. You know he was an asshole. Ricky, like you are really making me mad though. Like you just can't. Like why would you come back towards the ball? <laughs> making me mad that pass the yellow. That's probably why I don't use you to pass the yellow. That's probably why I like to use. I like to use uh, Darren McFadden because I feel like he's a better receiving back than Ricky was. But I don't know. We'll make it work. Blackman on a comeback route. We got Tim Brown going across the middle, I believe. Play action. Oh, I'll throw it to uh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> he got murdered. He got murdered there. That's ridiculous. He just got leveled. Fortunately, he did not fumble the ball. So now we have to get in the end zone here. Um, hmm. We're going to run this cross flood real quick. Maybe we can catch him across the middle. He's still using that route, so I got to pay attention to that. But right now, yeah, he's using capture. So as long as he, uh, he breaks that jam, he should be getting the ball here. Yep, look at that catch right there, though. Look at that catch by Michael Crabtree. You thought that would be the elite one, but it's not. Unfortunately, hopefully I get my hands on one soon. I got a lot of cards I need to go ahead and sell. I have so much stuff, just not that much time. But we up 14-3 to three with 8 seconds to go. We got kick out of the end zone, so he's not going to return it. So pretty much we have this game in control. And I'm hoping that our defense can... Uh, our offense can score more points, and our defense can hold them so we don't end up going into overtime later on this game because you know how things happen. You make a turnover, and all of a sudden he gets in field goal range, goes for two, blah, 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 blah. It's 11 to 14, and your guy fumbles. I'm hoping the momentum stays on our side so we do not end up losing this game. But that's a, that's a big hope. Let's see what he does here. Hope he doesn't quit either. I don't like when people quit. I pretty much played two opponents that have quit so far instantly, so it's a good win for me, but it's not a good gameplay for you guys because you guys do not get the entire glory of my commentary which is great most of the time and i'm just sitting here free balling i might have to talk about some subjects here. i don't know i'm pretty much talking about the gameplay right now peterson let's see what he does play action throw it oh my god I thought <laughs> oh pat white's two of eight oh i don't know why he's gonna go by michael vick he was the same price as pat white 30k maybe he pulled him i don't know i'm trying to speculate here tell this guy we should do with his own team but my team pretty much is not how I wanted to be right now. I'm still a 95 overall. I still need to get a couple of dishes on my team. And I still need to get a better cornerback that's reliable. I still need to get Deion Sanders. Hopefully he's going for a nicer price than he was. He's going for like 500k less than my check. So I so got a lot of players I need to get on my team. Let's see what he does here. He's just going deep. He might have he beat him. He might have beat him. But Earl Thomas was there. At least I can say that. Michael Huff don't be playing those guys. He'd just be sitting there. He don't, he'd be wanting to kill somebody. All right, well, he's not going to quit. I'm cool with that. We get the ball back. Do not do an onside kick, dude. Just kick me the ball. Play defense. And we'll see about... Yeah, he's taking me the ball, but he's kicking out of the end zone, so it doesn't really matter. So, <laughs> eliminating Devin Hester and what he does the best. Oh, we kicked it to him. We coming out. We coming out. This is a dumb decision. We coming out of the end zone. We coming out of the end zone. Oh, oh what did I do there? Oh, holding, so it didn't really matter. Holding. Holding on the number number uh, 81. Uh, number, oh, clipping on Vernon Davis. Thank you, Vernon Davis. You son of a bleep. Why would you do such a thing? Why do you lock people in the back in the first place? Man up. All right. Let's come out here and some uh, pistol stuff real quick. I like this formation. I'm digging the pistol formation over there in Madden. I'm going to start using it over here as well. Get Cam Newton more involved instead of just using you know, the strict passer. I know he has some good running attributes. I abuse him in man, but I don't abuse him in this game. Pick. Oh, no pick! I thought he was going to press Y to get me there. This dude's killing me with these big hits, though. If I score again, I'm going to put the game on conservative. I'm not going to try to uh, blow this guy out. But it'd be a cool comeback. Not comeback, but a cool re... Not what I'm trying to say. It'd be a cool... I'm going to say comeback into playing this game since I've been away from it for so long. Mostly because you can't find no games online. Oh, who was that guy blocking? 76 was blocking the air there. He was blocking the air. That's a cool little little glitch. He was, I'm going to go push this air out of the way. I need to get Ricky Williams some moves, some room. The oxygen is going to kill him if he gets his hands on him. He's still running the 3-3-5, three, three, what it looks like, actually, now that I'm looking at it out of this formation. Let's see if Samarj is going to be open. Yeah, he is. I like Samarj so much. He's six foot five, a beast. Still don't know why this game does stupid stuff like, I don't know, maybe give him a, th a short throw power. You know, he did play, he plays, he's a pitcher right now, so if you're a pitcher, your throw power should be like 100 because you're throwing like 90 miles an hour, 90 miles an hour all the time. He's just locking on. <laughs> I don't understand that at all. You know, I'm a lock on too. Can I lock on? No, I don't want to lock on Crabtree. Oh, we locked on. Get this off the screen. We locked on. We locked on. We, oh, oh, okay, we got the murder there. But yeah, I don't understand that, like, stuff like that. Players, they're, they're, well, when players play a different position in this game, like Henry Melton played halfback at Texas, but he's defensive tackle in this game. 
or when Heather Hester played cornerback in college, but he's a receiver in this game. Like, why didn't they didn't take a little bit of time to smooth out some of the details so they can make the game see a little bit more? Ooh. Um, like they put more time and effort into the game, so they just make it seem like they just went with Madden's roster and just got the names of all the people they can use and put them in the game. Because I know a lot of people probably play different positions. Like maybe, I don't know, Julius Peppers probably played outside linebacker in the, the, uh, college and played the. He played his a end of the NFL, like just stuff like that. Maybe they can just change this out, like in. Oh my God, what the? Why? Like, see this that stuff I'm talking about. Like, nobody blocked <laughs> number 48. He came through there untouched. I don't understand that. We're gonna punt the ball away. And I have faith in my defense. He doesn't show, show us anything other than that first drive of him getting down the field. But that guy came untouched through the entire. He's rushing three the entire time. Why would I go for it? I have a good punter though. We are gonna try to pin this guy deep. You got to pin this guy deep. Look at that. Look at that. Casey, get back there. Casey, get back there. No. Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. That was a lucky bounce. <laughs> that was a lucky bounce. Got him at the one-yard line. There's nothing more exciting in football than kick returns and punts that end at the one-yard line. Quote me on that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're going to come out here and spy. I'm going to leave Briggs out here. We're going to come out here and probably... They're going to use her with uh, Law. Why is Law covering Moss? That's weird. That's a weird matchup there. Look at that. Look at that. They do pump faked and everything. He's still... <laughs> I love how they... Like, if you're an elusive quarterback, you just you can just escape the spot. The spot does not do anything to you. But if you're not an elusive, you pretty much are just going to get tackled. Nine times out of ten. Wow. What? Okay. My guy was not in position there to actually make a play in that ball. Ah, I forgot the first down was a clock stop. So, yeah, this game might be closer for what it looks like. I don't know. I hope not. I'm hoping that our team can face this adversity and play well enough to win. This is a weird formation, though. We use Ren, we use Ren on Moss. He flipped the play. He flipped it. Oh, why would you let him? Why? Damn it, damn it, damn it, game. Certain times you don't want them to drop the ball, and that's not time you want to drop the ball. There, quarter went right to the third quarter. Now he has a chance to get the ball down the field before the top, the start of the fourth. I feel like I'm rambling right now. He's flipping the play. He's flipping the play. He's on the run. He's under some heat. Going deep. Kaysen! Oh my! How many interceptions am I going to drop? <laughs> I literally. How many interceptions am I going to drop? I wish the receivers had hands like def like defensive backs. Like it. That's the only way to balance it. Like they be making some ridiculous catches, but now nah, my defender just gonna drop the ball like five times so far this game. Dang, it's crazy. It's crazy. One of the most unluckiest things I've seen so far. Who's covering the running back, and why are you lined up way over there? Why is this game lagging now? Oh, it's lagging now, and I'm mad. Why is it lagging? Why am I talking like it's lagging? Oh, this is fun. I love it when it lags for no reason. Start of the third quarter, and nobody's doing anything on the internet, so I'm gonna say it's on my opponent's end as of now. It's going to try to, let's see if he tried to throw to the running back. No, he's going to run it. If he truck really game, like if Pat White's going to truck Lawrence Briggs, what am I talking about? Really? <laughs> oh, the quarterback still can truck people. Oh, run right into him. No, for, no turnover so far. Oh, this is stupid, though. Can it fix, can it buff itself out, please? I don't want to be playing like this. I can't be playing when it's lagging. This game's a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. These games usually go by quickly, though, but this is about going to be like 30, 35 minute commentary. Well, if you guys are watching this far, I really appreciate you sticking around the channel, and the game's going to say go ahead and leave. I guess they kicked him out for, I guess, lagging attention. That's what it looks like, because now he's going to be gone. Is he gone? Yes, our opponent has quit. He lost connection. We won the game. Woo! So the video is right, on, right around 30 minutes. So if you guys stuck around, I really appreciate you, and you guys are a true subscriber. And other than that, if you guys enjoyed this victory, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my record as of now. And I'm like 4-0, I believe, in the Season 8. I've not left this seed since I got into it, fortunately. I've not been demoted because I'm not that bad of a player. I just lose some games sometimes. But here you guys go. I got Car Car Carson's roster because he has the real names. But let's go ahead and look at my record if the servers would permit it. If I got that loss, I'm going to be really upset. We really upset. I wish you could just send them like evidence or video footage of them with the loss. And why won't this work properly? 
Okay, that's dumb. All right. Well, if you guys are new to this channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, I usually ramble like this a lot on my commentaries, but I do have some more detailed commentaries coming out soon and on my channel as of now that you guys can go ahead and watch and see how I usually um, talk and how everything's structured. This one's just a live com because I like talking randomly, but yeah, this is the stuff we got here. So right now we're 4-0. Two opponents quit, beat somebody 24 to 0, but I'm pretty much going to wrap this video up because I know I'm not going to find anybody else to play right now. So thank you guys for watching once again, and I'm out this mother bleeper. Peace.